So this weekend, over 100,000 fans of Korean film, TV, and music will descend on the LA Convention Center and Crypto.com Arena for KCON, the largest K-culture festival in the world. It is hosted by CJ Entertainment, one of the largest media companies in all of Asia. Steve Shung, who previously served as an executive right here at Fox, he is now CEO of CJ Entertainment America, and he joins us now here on set. Steve, it is an honor. Uh, let's start with just the draw of Korean content in general. I'm a huge fan of, of Parasite and yes. Squid Games. Yes. I think a lot of people are, obviously. What is the draw? Well, you know, I think when you have uh, such fandom, I think in a word, it's because it's really good. You know, um, I grew up here in L.A., uh, went to Arcadia High School, local. Uh, I remember back, you know, 20 some years ago, my parents and I would go to Koreatown and, and, and come out with this, you know, huge range of video cassettes and it's sort of like the first binging thing, right? Mm. Um, and then now you fast forward 20, 30 years and look at where we are, the second largest category in Netflix uh, sort of after Hollywood. You know, I think the stories, the production value, the characters, and it's a very different sort of take than a, a typical Hollywood content. So I think all of those things put together, uh, you know, and, and sort of 30 years of history of that sort of content being developed uh, with a very picky group in South Korea, uh, the domestic population is used to taking great content. So uh, all of that together, I think, has really made Korean content where it is today. And so let's talk about what we can expect this weekend. Yes. A lot of people, over 100,000 people? <laughs> it is. I mean, look, as you said, it's the biggest uh, Korean sort of media and culture festival and, and, and music festival in the world. Uh, we're in our 11th year this year. It all started here in L.A., you know, 11 years ago. Uh, and it's really uh, grown from 10,000 people you know, 11 years ago to over 100,000 we expect. I think I covered that first one 11 years oh, ago. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, yeah. uh, it, it, so I think the Angelinos have a lot to sort of take pride in that this all came sort of was born here in L.A. And now KCON is a global phenomenon. We're in places like Tokyo and Thailand, uh, Paris. Uh, we were on Mexico, New York City. So uh, every year there's about four or five of KCONs now that's expanded beyond L.A. But man, I mean... Uh, you should all, every, everybody should come out. Uh, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the LA Convention Center. Saturday in particular, because all days and nights are sold out. There's the day convention and then there's a K-pop concert at night. But on Saturday this year, we have a partnership with KISS FM, where it's a free sort of a venue in front of uh, the LA uh, Convention Center uh, from noon to six. It's gonna be a beautiful day if the, the meteorologists are right. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I'd encourage, you know, if you are not a endemic fan of K-pop and you want to figure out, like, find out what this whole big deal is all about, come on over this Saturday, uh, noon to six. Uh, join us in Kiss FM for an amazing sort of, you know, taste of K-pop. And then next year you can come to the, the real thing inside. Wow. And, and the fact that Kiss FM is taking part is really speaks a lot to how popular it is because it's now more mainstream. We have an editor here, Morgan. She is a huge fan. She went to KCON last year. She yes. cannot wait to go this year. Yes. One of her questions she wanted me to get out to you was, how has KCON evolved? I mean, you mentioned this is the 11th year, but really is it now that it's more mainstream, you think? Oh, for sure. I think the numbers, you know, as I mentioned, 10,000 to more than 100,000. Um, I would say back then, maybe you'd see people who, you know, maybe uh, of Korean ethnicity or background mm -hmm. or have some familiarity. Now, more than 90% of attendees have nothing to do with Korean heritage. Wow. Uh, and so the people who come and who enjoy Korean content look just like the people who live in your neighborhood. Just look down the street and that's who, who's going to be there. And some good costumes, right? Great costumes. Uh, well, uh, so it is a different kind of a costume right. uh, than a, than a Comic Con, let's say. But yeah. but you know the fandom and the passion and just the electric yeah. fine energy at these places. You just have to be there. Are you a BTS fan? A huge BTS yeah. fan. <laughs> uh, huge Blackpink fan. Huge. Uh, we have a new group called Zero Base One, by the way, which we believe is the next BTS. Mark my words, today, will Zero Base One will be the next BTS if, if we have anything to do with it. Well, I'm wearing, sorry, I'm wearing black <laughs> heels and a pink dress by design. I'm not kidding you, black pink. This is why yeah. I dress the way for um, you, Steve. Thank yeah. you so much, yeah. Ron. I really appreciate All that. All right, KCON Los Angeles, again, Friday through
through Sunday, in person online. For more information, kconusa.com slash LA. Steve, great to see you. Thank you so much. Congratulations for you. Thank on you. your Congratulations. success. I appreciate that. Love Fox. Thank you. All right. <laughs>